What is up guys, I'm Bagwigwe here with a new building design. This is a, okay, well, my computer just took control of my game. Well, basically this is a Roman bathhouse build that I've been experimenting with. And I'm going to show you guys how to build it. Alright, so, I start off making a 7x7, seven seven, one hole deep pit, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. One. Let me just break everything in the middle here. So after you're done that, you get your pillar quartz block, and basically, as you can see here, uh, you put them one block away from the edge of the little bathing area and you build three high so one two three every one every other block so one two three one two three you're gonna end up just destroying these pillars these corner pillars but just put them here it's easier to measure stuff with so one two three one two three so yeah this this build is in uh it's in John Smith texture pack. Like it looks fine in normal regular texture pack or faithful, but I think in my opinion it looks the best in John Smith Legacy now. Yeah, that's what it's called Legacy. So yeah. Almost done the pillars. Four. One, two, three. One. Ah. One, two, three. Okay. So when you're done that, find the center block. So I think that's center block. Yep, and you build up one, two, three, four, five. Now you can change this depending on whatever height you want, but it's really up to you. Wait, hold on. One, two, three. Oh, true, sorry, forgot one thing. You build these all up four, 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 four. And to make the mapping of the roof a little easier, the arched roof, I uh, just build one, two, three like this. Three, one, two, three. And if you really want to get ahead, then put one on all of these. Okay, so now the next step we're going to do, one more, is actually build the actual roof. So to start off, I oh, forgot this. To start off, you go down one on every single time every single one what the oh, I forgot this one sec it's turning to night all right that's better okay you do that just gotta do this once more and then you basically start as you can see here spiraling upwards like that so we'll start off with this where basically you do that that and then one two one two one nope oh no and one two one one, two, three, one, two. Okay, I'm just going to take this out. My OCD is acting up, sorry. But I just like it better like that. All right, so as you can see over there, the roof goes up at an inclined angle and then meets at the top here. And it goes up from here, another three. So just repeat that step, basically three, uh, two more times. And then, yeah, so I'll just fast forward this bit for us. Okay, so after you're done that, basically, you, as you can see here, it's just a pretty simple, like, kind of staircase-y, uh, half-block roof. So we'll start by going, like, so, then like that, and you're just going to repeat this process 
over and over until it all eventually evens up. Then you can take this these pillar blocks out. So I'll speed up this part again for us. Okay, now that that's done, as you can see on this roof, there's another, uh, there's like this little cross symbol that I made up here. Now you can always leave it like this. Well, let's destroy this pillar first. That's, that pillar was just for measurement. You don't have to keep it. So you can either just leave it like this, but what I like to do is go like this. Wait, how did I do that? Oh, I see. Okay, so that. Sketchy. So you can either leave it like that, or what I did on the interior was I blocked it off on the inside so that really only that one block would allow light to get in. Okay, so now on to the interior design. So you can use the chiseled quartz block here, the marble block, uh, for the pool, like the baths floor, but I like the stone brick better. I think it just looks a lot nicer, this stone slab. So, yep, I'll speed this part up as well. Okay, so now that that's done, uh, what I did on this bit design was I like put the stone bricks in between the pillars, but for the sake of time on this video, I'm just not going to. Makes it look a little nicer, but it's really just like your preference. Uh, okay, so now you make the pit uh, one block deeper. So the pit where all the water is going to go, you just make one block deeper. So yeah, these uh, are all going to be on the outside, the lining of the, whatever it's called, the bath. And there's going to be stairs in all four corners. You can you can just use one set of stairs or two, three, however many you like. But I, for the sake of building and to be symmetrical, uh, I'm going to put four in just to show everyone. Okay, that's good. So now let's flood it. Okay, there we go. So to make the stairs, you just go one, two, half block. One, two, half block. One, two, oh, half block. One, two, half block. And then for the floor, uh, you, I just use chiseled stone bricks, uh, sorry, chiseled quartz bricks again, but you can really use anything, just personal preference again. See, what I like about this build is that you can change anything you want to whatever materials. This is just the overall layout of the design. Oh, that water's falling somewhere. Okay. And also, if you're wondering why I use stone bricks instead of these, uh, these, the, what it, I just forgot what they're called, chiseled quartz blocks, is because of these sides here. They look a little sketchy. They look like Mayan mosaics or just mosaics. And I don't really like that on the side seeing that. So I just prefer the top and bottom of them. But yeah. So that's the gist of the design. You can always tweak it to however you like, maybe build a wall around it. But yeah, I hope you guys like this and more Roman builds and Minecraft builds coming your way. Bagwegwe, signing out.